to to find out what they know. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So, Maybe these yeah. are the things that we also Thank see. Yeah. To add to, to add. Yeah, to add to what you said, yeah. If you look at the picture or the video where the boyfriend screamed, um, "Mobad is dead, Mobad is dead," huh? there was a cloth, a, t a shirt, striped shirt beside him. At what point in time did they change into three? Meaning there was someone else that now had that when um, the guy that screamed, "The Mobad is dead," now moved to that end of the window before they became justice three. for Mobad. So there was a, they had time to play their script. If you look at that video, mobile is dead, mobile is dead. If they were already on emotion, they yeah, should have yeah. the shirt and at the back seats. That space was empty then. Mm -hmm. That's where you had mobile head on the on the chair, where his head should have been elevated. Mm -hmm. So you see that they scripted it. That's For me, true. I feel that they saw the blood thing. They had to quickly reshoot the it. movie again. That's why you had the other boys, um, you know, when they were not talking again. They, I think that's when they turned mobile to the other side, to his brother's side. If you look at the second video where you had the three of them's face showing yeah. mobile is dead. So for me, it's possible. It all happened on a Monday. They shot the video so that then they will not take mobile to the hospital. Mm. It's possible there was hospital. It means the hospital is still the same That's why they did the local embalming. They rushed mobile to the hospital on Tuesday and Mobad was, you know, registered, brought in in a rigor motive. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. that's my own. You understand? They planned everything because how come the lawyer was able to be at the ground eh, and in no request of police hours. reports. How come there was a mom and all that? Because the father testified allegedly that he testified that oh he saw God. those people there. We meet all you speak who's bribe lawyer. This also has uh, another question, right? Because all of this is not adding up. And that would be the reason why um, this case is going to be won by the justice fighter. Because they are, I said something yesterday. They are inconsistency oh. is the key to our own victory. In That's true. Now, not like we are trying to nail anybody or something. Now, why is it that in all of all these things that happen in the show, driving home, getting home, calling the nurse, the nurse arriving, Mubad vomiting, rushing him into the car. Now, those are like seven scenarios now. Now, I'm, I'm, let me come again now. Let me come, let me come again, right? Now, number one, at the show, driving home, getting home, calling the nurse, the nurse arriving, Mubad vomiting. The, the moment when they were carrying Mubad into the car, why is it that no video of this is available? Where Mubad was vomiting, there's no video. Where the nurse came back, there was no video. Where um, the, the show, there is no video. When they came back home, there's no video. And as a matter of fact, Mubad's photographer, that always follow him to every program, needs to be questioned. He was on duty that day. He should provide the videos of everything that happened. Because if I if I've never seen an artist before, I've always seen documentaries of artists when they were performing the show, after the show, when they got home, the way they were playing and all of those things. Yeah. Mm. Why is it that no video is available mm. for every one of these like six mm. particular things that I have mentioned? Mm. The video that we only have is just like mm. an eight seconds video mm. showing Mubad is dead, Mubad is dead, Mubad is dead. Exactly. exactly. Why is there no video for all of these particular um scenarios why don't we it's just only that one if it was not pre-planned everything was planned then they came in and they just made a short video let's just do this video to announce that he is off so this thing is not like just like bossman said earlier on some couple of minutes ago it's not like we're just trying to pin um pin anybody down or something no that is not our joy our joy is not to even see somebody go off or something maybe but our joy is to get justice for mobile but 
in getting justice for Mubarak, we need to ask important questions, and such as these kind of questions that we are asking now. We know we've been talking about this thing for the past like nine months. For so ten months, sir. But at the end of the day, justice for Mubarak. Talking about it until we get the justice because the inconsistency is just too much. Who knows the next person? Who knows the next person that this thing is going to happen to? But so as to avoid something like that from happening again. That's the reason why we are gathered together for the past nine to ten months now, talking about this particular subject. Justice for mobile is a must. We have to get the justice for mobile. All the necessary authorities need to step up their games and do the right thing. We know if they want to do the big thing, they want to do it, they're going to do it, they want to do the right thing, they're going to do the right thing. In, 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 in the world, at least in one way or the other, the Nigerian police are one of the smartest police in, Nigeria, in the world if they, if they really, really want to do the right thing. Look at the case of that particular lady in Port Harcourt, River State, who went to visit her boyfriend. She got there, the boyfriend of her, and after the boyfriend of her, the boyfriend pieces her, you know, her body part into whatever, whatever, whatever. And when they opened the, the, the boyfriend's house and they opened the door, they discovered that this guy has a big freezer where he is storing this thing. The Nigerian police detected that. They did that. They did a very fantastic job. But why is it taking mobile case eternity to get justice? Well, we're not going to keep, we're not going to stop talking about it. We're definitely going to keep talking about it. All of these videos need to be presented. I am sure there are videos somewhere. Now, let me tell you the next thing that is going on now. The next thing that is going on now is that any implicating video, they go on a site to delete the videos that... That's what they do now. They go from one place to another. Anywhere they see that probably the a video that can be, you know, used as an evidence. They, they tend to see... They tend to Thank you for... I mean that because Please I experienced it as well. I noticed Please. that have Please keep all those videos off. Don't don't go to link anymore. Any link you see, screenshot that video. I mean screen record the video and keep it. Yeah. For record or put it on your iCAI. I just find another thing again. Before I read out from the CTC, I want us to have a recap. And I want us to be paying attention to this. Like I said, like each chick just said. We are not to nail anybody. We are not here to nail. We are just the truth. We are not here to nail anyone. And if, if ever since I've been talking about justice for Mubarak, I have never pushed, bashed um, the white of the disease. I have never said any derogatory word against the white of the disease. I stand for truth. I stand for justice for Mubarak. And that's what we stand for. I'm not one of, I don't believe in dragging or believe in um, bashing the wife. But she needs to come out and clear this part, and that's just it. And even if some of our supporters are uh, that believe that she's innocent and all that, we don't need to fight among ourselves. If we want to have a constructive debate or conversation, we can always have that without it learning to uh, bashing or dragging or you know. I don't really want to engage in that. Now, back to this. According to the CTC. Different people, different analysis. They said Mubad was he, he punched through the window of an SUV. He got a, he sustained an injury in there. The wife just said, which I just read to you, every one of us said that Mubad sustained an injury and that she did not see any injury until Mubad got to the house and was knocking on his door and came to her room. That was when he saw the hand bleeding and it was not gushing like that just a little bit drops and she used cotton wool of his baby cotton wool to clean the body's hand and she used a um, rub to massage the hand which the police claimed that was gushing can a drop or a rub stop a gushing blood can a rub? chinese bam stop a gushing blood the way they painted it where did the police get that gushing word from when they said rotting out, um, we are bleeding profusely. They said bleeding profusely. Exactly. Yeah, profusely, um, profusely bleeding. Where did they get that word from? All right, Umi said it was not pro bleeding profusely. It was just a little drop. 
and then she did not that to the point that she did not even notice that the blood was i mean that mobile sustained any injury until when mobile came into the room and the hand was not swollen all this word i'm saying all this word because i'm going somewhere every little word i say to you today as a reason why i'm saying it i'm giving and i'm stressing some word because i'm trying to read some things to you so that you will be able to channel what i've been saying so far the you know this is the foundation of what i'm saying to because i'm taking you somewhere now they said they invited a nurse on tuesday and when the nurse came the nurse gave mobad anti tartanus injection did they invite the nurse on tuesday they invited the nurse on monday that was what I, I said, according to the CTC now. Yes, they invited the nurse on Monday, but the nurse came but the on nurse, Tuesday. Okay, on Monday, but the nurse did not come until Tuesday. Exactly. But the nurse arrived on Tuesday, and it was the nurse that gave Mobad anti tetanus injection. That we, they claimed that Mobad reacted because of that injection. All right? That was on Tuesday when they, the nurse arrived to the house. Now, I'm going to read one thing for you guys, and it's going to shock you. It's going to shock you now. This is during the cross-examination of DJ Bami. DJ Bami. I'm going to be reading from the page 74 during the cross-examination of DJ Bami. We may claim, before then, before I read, we may claim that she did not notice any injury or any blood stain from the body of Mobad until Boba came to the room. Is that not what well, that's what we just read out I uh, read out to you guys from the CTC, right? Now if you have the CTC in you you can turn with me to the page seven to four. And I will read now the the question by me. The question in that coming back to Ikurudu after the show you said mobile sustained injury can you describe the size of the injury and the level of the blood gushing out what was it a big cut Bami answered the Bami answered it was a small cut but the hand was swollen by the time we got home can you please always underline that word by the time they got home, that means before they traveled from Ikorodu to the house, the hand got swollen. The hand did not swell up on the next day, according to the wife of the disease. The wife of the disease said that mobile hands was okay, just a cut wound, but the hand that mobile slept like a baby because they slept together and um, um, their baby. Their own baby was in the middle. And Muba slept very well. Nothing happened. The hands are swollen up the next day. Please, if I'm right, tell me, like, boss man, you are right. So that we know that you guys are with me. The yeah. whole statement contradicts. Exactly. So now, this mommy making us to understand that the hand was swollen the same day. Before they got home. All right. Let me continue reading. He answered, said, it was a small cut, but the hand was swollen by the time we got home. But it was still bringing out blood. And when we got home, we were looking at the wound and talking about what happened at the show. And we were like, it is a glass injury and he will need tartanus i repeat you will need tartanus for it and that was why we called the nurse so now underline that part each talk that they will need tartanus so it was not the nurse that brought the tartanus injection so before they invited the nurse they have already concluded that mobile will need tartanus injection they have already concluded that Mobad will need tetanus injection on that hand before they even talk, spoke to the nurse. So, should we not say that? Should please underline the, my word carefully because I have to think before I say anything. Uh, I, I, I make any statement out. Should we not say that? You people 
claimed that when you got home, the hand was already swollen, blood was gushing out. So if we claim that the hand was swollen and was dripping out blood, Wumi said she was in the car, the same car, that drove Mubad, she was already in there, and the department that was in the other vehicle noticed that Mubad's hand was swollen. Wumi claimed that she did not see that blood, that Mubad that was sitting beside Emu, I mean beside her, she did not see the blood. She did not see the hand swollen. So he took DJ Bami that was in the other vehicle to notice that Mobad's hand was swollen. Mumi claimed that she did not notice the hand of Mobad gushing or bleeding and swollen. In fact, she said Mobad's hand did not swell, that there was no sudden swelling up, that the hand swelled up the next day and the Japami said the hand got swollen before they got home and when they got home they concluded that this hand will need anti-tartanus injection i just read it out word for word to you guys what was written in the ctc so you guys are claiming not saying that you guys did not speak to the nurse you all concluded that the hand will need tartanus injection before you guys even made a move to call the nurse that tartanus injection was already concluded before they called the nurse that is where i'm going to they have already concluded that mobile will need anti-tartanus or tartanus injection before they call the nurse that is the word i'm trying to say then they asked nurse that we invited the nurse and then she said she um he had his own personal nurse and we got home sunday midnight and i called on monday morning and she said she was not available and i said just blah 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 we don't need that where i am driving at is that they have been talking about a tartanus injection that very night immediately they got home the each talk so now the police said and the nurse claimed that she only gave three injection anti tetanus injection um antibiotics and which other injection was given to mobad oh, first of all. according to the police um preliminary statement they said they picked six syringes so if the nurse says that she gave three injection syringes to mobad who all about the elder empty three pieces of the syringes. She will not say that Mobad has been already in the, he has been injected before the nurse arrived at the house. There is there is a in that particular place of the injection. The they said something there, but I've forgotten what they actually said in that place. According to the investigation of the police, I think they said. Three used injection, injection. They now said something, something. I would let me just try and go over the video again on YouTube. That is if you have not brought it down. Let me go I think over. They mentioned some used syringes that they caught in the house as well. Maybe everything going to life five or so. Exactly. Everything going to life five, they were used and not used. Exactly. There were other three syringes. Different yes. from different, there were other two syringes different from the one that the nurse used. Yes, other two syringes that were used by someone else, different from the one that the nurse used. Now, if the DJ Bami is saying that they thought in the, they thought in their mind that her uh, is going to need an um anti justice for more bad guys. Blah blah blah. Now, at what point? Just like Bosman said, at what point? Did they discover that it's going to need a tetanus? And who is that individual? Or is there an individual somewhere, right, who already told them what they were going to do to Mobad when that particular event happened? Because if you recollect, there is a particular someone that said she always prescribed or she prescribes blah 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 to the wife of mobile to be used on mobile when mobile was alive so 
could, could it be that it was that certain individual that prescribed the anti tetanus the tetanus injection to be administered on mobile? Um, each talk, sorry, can I give my submission so that I can calm down for other people to come? Yeah. I mean, come on. You can go ahead. Please. All right, thank you. Um, thank you, everybody. Good afternoon, depending on uh, where you're watching from. Um, honestly, with all these things, there's something that I know that is giving us issue that is causing all this is all because our police uh, police officers i mean police officers are not doing their job diligently that is why we are in this i mean thing where, where that is why we are here because there's so many loopholes there's so many evidences out there that's really like if truly they they, uh, they they investigate and do their job honestly would have gotten um uh, justice all this while but because of what they're doing like now <laughs> 